Traditionally, we all think rectangle and rhombus are not equal. What if I told you there is a world where rectangle and rhombus are equal? It is a science fiction. It is all type theory. Here you can bend one object into another without tearing it. Still, call them equal. Most of the time, theory redefines the goal. Instead of just saying if two things are identical, it asks how many ways can you get from one place to another. To put it in another way, in amount of time theory, if you solve a problem in two different ways, each method is a pass. If both paths connect the same starting problem to the same final answer, they are considered equal, even if they look completely different. Amount of time theory introduces a new concept named invalence axiom, which says isomorphic structures can be identified. Here, structures that look different but are essentially the same can be identified. It builds a bridge between algebra, topology, and logic. So, isomorphic structures seems difficult, right? Let's clarify it. Think of an analog clock and a digital clock. They look different but show the same time. Deep down, they're isomorphic. Or a pentagon and a star. Five points link differently, yet same underlying structure. Equality in homotopy type theory doesn't stop at one layer. Every path has its own path, and each transformation has another that reshapes it. This creates a hierarchy of paths. Mathematicians call it infinity groupoid, where structure exists across infinite dimensions. This isn't just abstraction. It shows that two ideas can be equal in more than one way. It's a revolution from rewriting the foundations of mathematics to empowering computers to reason with shape and symmetry. Homotopy time theory isn't just a theory. This is homotopy time theory where equality is structure, not just sameness.